leaked the 2023 Dodge Hornet. Check it out, folks. This is the first time we have seen something like this. This is definitely before Dodge wants anyone to see it. Now, several months ago, Dodge said that they're going to revive the Hornet nameplate as a new SUV for the 2023 model year. The trademark application was filed, which we could have all seen on the US PTO, which is United States Patent and Trademark Office. The naming rights were out there. And then we learned that the Hornet is going to be a heavily rebadged version of the Alfa Romeo Tonelli plug-in hybrid crossover. And this interior looks fabulous. I think it's great that they're looking at the Alfa Romeo because Alfa Romeo, the interiors of the Alfa Romeo far outdoes anything that Dodge can come up with. As far as the design or the Italian flair, the way it looks, it's just amazing. Today you see these images right here on Camouflage 2023 Hornet. Leaked to social media, folks. Just a portion of it, though. You see the front end, very similar design to the Tonelli. Despite the lack of focus, the headlights design is unique. The large Alfa Romeo trifoil triangular grille is obviously, it's obviously not going to be there. It's going to be the Dodge you know, type of grill. And it sort of reminds me of the um, of the Dodge SUV. But still, there's also a pair of hood vents that you see here. More sculpted than the Alfa Romeo. Now those vents are more than likely just for show though. Just as they are on the Kia Stinger. But it still looks cool. You can tell they just for show, by the way. But it would be great if they amazed us and it was really, really functional. Now, the single interior image that we see here, which we saw earlier, shows a similar and restyled layout of the Alfa Romeo. No paddle shifters on either side, as you can see, of the steering wheel. Redesigned HVAC section beneath the touchscreen. Even the steering wheel itself is identical to the Tonelli, with the exception of the Dodge double slash emblem placed in the center. Of course, it's going to have the optional all wheel drive too, as well, because it's going to be an SUV. So there's a lot of similarities to the Tonelli. But again, this is the Alfa Romeo. And this just gives us some kind of idea. I mean, the Tonelli gives us some kind of idea of where this SUV may go. And if they did, like, pin this Alfa Romeo design down without the pedals, i tell you one thing, that would definitely look sharp. I mean, of course, this is the Tonelli, so you can get an idea of where the Hornet's going to be going with their design. And the interior design, too, as well. And Alfa Romeo, guys, is actually stupendous. And if they just made this and, and replaced it with the Dodge emblems, you know, do the same thing that all the other companies do, such as Audi and Volkswagen, you know, just keep the brand going all the way through. Get a lot more buyers that way, too. What a beautiful design this is going to be, folks. A very beautiful design. Now, no one knows if it's going to have the 2.0 liter, four-cylinder, 256 horsepower, and 295 pound-feet of torque. No one knows that yet. Will this be on the, on the Hornet? I sort of seem to think so. Will it be a PHEV setup? 30 miles of all-electric range? But it's going to replace the Dodge Journey, which stopped production in 2020. I mean, it was in production for 11 years. The Tonelli, like the Tonelli, the Hornet is going to be built at the Palma Galeno de Arco assembly plant in Italy. 
If all goes well. I hope this has an Italian flair to it as well. I think it would be good. It's good for Dodge. They need to do this. Because this is going to be one fantastic piece of equipment, folks. Yes, leaked. The 2023 Dodge Hornet. This is phenomenal, folks. Say Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. Boy, is this going to be sharp. This gives us an idea of what the big picture is going to be like. Thanks for coming by. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Hey, to say Automotive Reviews. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And have a fantastic day. Thanks for coming to the channel. And thanks for uh, supporting this small channel. Much love. A Automotive Reviews.